Dr. Megan Choi, and I am going to be running through the basic physiological exam. We're going to begin with sugar, then this leg, this one from your knees up, hold, then this leg, this one straight, bring, keep your knees straight, bring it down a little bit, there you go, hold, okay, <laughs> hold your arms in towards your body, don't let me pull them away, and sit up for me. Muscle test by turning clockwise and anti-clockwise on the manubrium. It is negative. I'm just going to double check thoracic spine by pinching vertically three times on the upper, middle, and lower aspect of the sternum. And then finally checking diaphragm spasm by pressing underneath the rib cage on both sides. All of that's negative. Hepatic flexure. Iliocecal valve. Bowels of Houston, splenic flexure, and hiatal hernia are all negative. PMS on the right and the left, menopause on the right and the left, autoimmune switch, sex two, vaccinator. Coming to the head of the table for jaw laterality. Head a little straighter. Looks good. And then temporal bulge, possibly a little bit on the left hand side. Breathe all the way out for me. Halfway in and stop. Stop. Hold it. Breathe all the way in. Breathe halfway out. Stop. And there it is. So we're going to do it on exhalation on the left hand side, coming under the occiput, and on that side of the forehead, breathe in and breathe out. I'm going to bring my hands together, breathe in and breathe out, breathe in and breathe out. Better. Breathe all the way out. Breathe halfway in. Stop. Breathe all the way in. Breathe halfway out. Stop. Great. Now I'm just going to check for 60 40s. Great. Okay. Now I'm going to have her turn over on her stomach for the prone portion of the exam. Go ahead and place both hands underneath your forehead so that your nose isn't hitting the table. I'm going to separate her hair so that I can get a better look. And her left side. 
side is lower than her right side. So I'm going to have her turn her head toward this side. And lift your head. Go ahead and let your hands come down and turn your head. And we're going to place this along the jawline. We're going to make sure your ear's comfortable. Okay. And it feels a little too high. Go ahead and lift up for a minute. There we go. Lay it back down. There we go. So now I have a nice full curve. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and out. And in and out. Okay, lift your head up. Oops. Okay. Fingers underneath your forehead. And now her head is on straight. Okay, bilateral hamstrings. Bend this leg up, don't let me push it down. Great, and this one, fantastic. Take one hand and touch right here for me. I'm having her touch the sex one point, the boss of the shoulder, and that's negative. Then we're going to test for tail leg. So go ahead and place both hands on your forehead, one on either side, not touching in the middle, and use that to support your head. I am going to be palpating your coccyx and pushing it in four different directions. It can be a little tender sometimes. So just go ahead and hold this leg up, testing your hamstring with each of the four directions. Okay, those are all negative. Dylan, would you be able to come around? And put your hands on her forehead, just like she did for you. One hand on either side, not touching in the middle. Claire, please go ahead and place both of your hands, one over the other, on your pubic synthesis. And let your head relax down. We're going to do the same thing again with your coccyx. And hold. And hold. Hold. Okay, you can take your hands away, Dylan. Thank you. Claire, let's go ahead and place one hand over your vaginal opening and testing for reproductive infection. Take your hand away. And chronic nagging of a back pain. Ankles together, knees together, hold, hold your feet together, don't let me separate them. Great. And bring your legs down, just relax them. I'm going to straighten you out here and I'm looking for an equal leg length. For inhalation, allergy, and realize we have an equal right there, and they stay the same one. Okay, go ahead and turn over, and you're going to probably sit up for me, but I'm going to take a look at the camp. You're going to sit up for sure. Yeah, that will be great. The camera will be able to see just fine. So now we've moved into the upright portion beginning with glaucoma, corpus callosum, vision, thalamus, keep your eyes open, now close your eyes for hypothalamus, and uh, free radicals, pineal, pituitary, DNA, and CSF pressure, parotidus, Parathyroid. Thyroid is a group and individually. Bone marrow. Lungs. Bilateral. Emotional asthma. Spores. And microbiota. Arrhythmia. And she's happy she doesn't have that one. Mm -hmm. Let me just watch Dylan get it corrected. Bronchi. Bronchotracheal. Okay, now we go back to where we were. Circulation. Arterial. Venus. Autoimmune switch. Heart, endocardium, or endocardium, pericardium, 
heart. So I'm going to place your finger right there. And blood pressure ratio. Take that away. So negative up to there. And now we move into the second half of the upright with virus, kidney, spleen, pancreas, stomach, pylorx sphincter, sphincter of Odi, head of the pancreas, benzodiazepines, cannabis, gallbladder, liver, kidney, and virus. Then we have, arms getting tired, we can switch. Yeah, I can probably switch arms and the camera can still see. Okay, where's the anterior margin? There we go, I was off center. I'm sure it's confusing me a little bit. Bacteria, yeast, mold, and yeast. Ascending, transverse, descending, and sigmoid colon. Duodenum, uh, jejunum, ileum, small intestine, adrenals, vertical and horizontal, and ureters, ovary testy, all ureters, prostate, ovary testy, ureter, and common integuments in reverse. And common integument going forward. Great. We'll do poison toxicity category four at the end. I'm going to jump into meat and use now. So we have the calcium points. Have you been taking your calcium? I did the other day, but not as frequently as I should be. Have you been taking your calcium daily? No. Okay. Most of I notice something, and I'm like, I know that's going to be calcium. <laughs> So I'm going to check the professional botanical calcium, and that will meet her need. Zero, one, two, three. Can the body use it? So three calcium and magnesium per day. Mm -hmm. Next we have the vitamin B point. It's negative, omega threes. That's positive. Are you taking any omega threes? No. no. Body would like you to. I'm going to hold that there. This is the professional botanical omega 3 that will meet the need. 0, 1, 2, and the body used to. So 2 is very efficient. We're going to come over to the other side of the chronicle, 1 inch inferior, the mineral point. That's what this is. What? Yes. Um, water. Oh, these are vitamins? Mm -hmm. uh, B6. B3. Your favorite. No. Oh, hold that there. Zero. Five or less drops. Ten or less drops. Ten. Nine. Eight. And the body use eight drops. That's better than twelve. It is better than twelve. Eight drops a day. And then, finished? No. So there's another mineral. Is it going to be met by the calcium magnesium boron that she's taking? Hold that there. Okay. Zero, one, two, three. Can the body use three? So the magnesium and the boron will help meet the mineral point you need. Finished. And that's all that the body's asking. On that point. So now we're going to go to the B6 point. That one's okay. But she's already taken 300 milligrams of B6 daily, right? Um, she knows well that she is supposed to. And acidophilus point is fine. Heaven's children have the advantage that they were never given antibiotics as kids. So their acidophilus points tend to be just fine. And HCF is negative. And we'll just check vitamin D. She does live in Utah. 
and it's winter right now, so I wouldn't anticipate that she would be able to get sufficient vitamin D through sunlight. Oh, zero. Uh, one drop, two drops, three drops, four drops. Can the body use four drops? Four drops is 8,000 IUs, so that would be a maintenance dose. Uh, just checking need and use for antioxidants, finished. Uh, need and use for vision home care, zero. Okay. And she did not test positive for reproductive infection, but if she did, I would be checking for a disinfective solution like Lulopsin. So then we're going to check poison. And that is positive. Correcting L5. Toxicity. T11. L1. Nothing. T7. And laying back for category 4. Testing both arms, hold them up. She's high on the right, so I'm going to place the high block there. Low block on the left side. Retest both hands. Let her breathe in and out. Points. And retest. So that concludes the basic physiological exam, including need and use.